All right, fun for today is removing a Mercedes power seat control module, which is located under the seat. Uh, if you have to do any wiring on this thing, if you have to change a motor, whatever, there's only one real way to do this, and you're going to have to pull the whole thing apart. Not the whole seat, but you're going to have to do a little bit of work. And the first thing you're going to need is rotate your seat forward, uh, pop the seat back forward. And then under the side cover, you've got the side cover here that goes along beside the door. Under here, at the back, you'll find a hole, and in there, there's a Phillips screw. And simply unscrew that. This one's, there's a bit of the seat back broken here from the previous owner. And now you can pull this out and push forward a little bit. What it hooks onto is in the front. See, there's this, it's all nicely covered in felt so it doesn't make funny noises and squeak around on you. This little part here hooks around that little tab there. You can see that little tab on the front. That hooks into, right into there. when it goes back on. So that's what you're looking for when you put that back on. And, oop, I need a tool back in one. Okay, so you're not going to need a T30 Torx either. Thank you, truck. Uh, either you're going to have to get a, a bent one. You're probably going to have to get a small bent one, one of these little sets like this, because you're going to have to do the same thing on the, on the inner part. Now, right here along the front, there's a little white dot on this one. There is a Torx bit screw, T30. And you simply have to remove that. Sorry for shaky baking camera, and I'm not going to make you watch me remove this whole screw. And I'll be back in a minute. Uh, best to put your seat before you do this, if you can, if your power seat's working, uh, put it all the way up as high as you can. Like this part of the seat cushion, raise that as high as possible. This one is, oh, the battery's dead in the car from sitting for so long. Anyway, so I'm going to pull this one out, and on the inner side there's the exact same screw take the two out and we'll be back when you're done okay so now i'm bolted these 90 percent of the way this is the inner one beside the uh center console and there's what the screw looks like out and the outer one now rotate or recline your seat as far back as you can and voila there we are you can unhook the if you've got electric, or sorry, heated seats, you can unplug the connector for the heated seats here. And there's the other one for the occupant sensor for airbag and everything. Uh, that wraps around to the front right there. So I'm going to unplug those and be back in a second because they're too going to be a bitch to... Well, let me see if I can... Can you see that? I don't know. This has been somebody kicked this under here at some time. It's all busted up a little bit. These are not fun to undo after being sitting in here for years and years and years under the car. There's spilt crap all over the place. Damn it. This one's a pain to roof. You know what? It's gonna be. Uh, you're not gonna do this because you're probably gonna be keeping the seat heater or occupant sensor in your car. I'm not. So I'm cutting them. Just because it's going to make it easier for me to get in here. And where is the T... It's not a T20, is it? It is a... So there's the, mount, the power seat module right here. And it's held in by this Torx bolt there. Oops. Torx bolt there. And a 10 mil here. Up so you can just kind of see when you take it off. And what size is this Torx? It is a T25. Obviously, for this one, you can use a regular socket wrench Torx bit. But I happen to have this set with me in the car, so that's what I'm going to use. 
think you can see that. Can you? I can't see the camera and do this at the same time. Well, there's two T25 Torx bits, or Torx screws right there. Obviously, you're going to see the one that holds this mount for the power seat control module and the 10 mil. Where are you? And now over on the outer side, there's a second part of this bracket. There's a 10 mil bolt here. You only have to take off the outer one. There's an inner one. It's part of the power seat mechanism for moving the front of the seat up and down, but only this outer one needs to come off. Okay, uh, this little bracket here, pop it down so the wiring comes out of there, lift up, pull forward. And now, uh, these are really tight in here. Damn it. Come out of there. Um, I need a little screwdriver to pop that out, I think. Because my fat hands can't get in there. You know, I'm just going to undo the bracket. Might be easier. And it is a T25 again. There are two T25 bolts. I know holding this bracket on this. Look at how bent this one is. Someone's bent this sometime in the past. T25 right here. I think it's a T25. It might be a smaller one. Looks like. Nah. Back in a second. Gotta get another. Actually, I just realized taking these two Phillips out might be a little bit easier. <clears throat> but this one was bent. Someone tried to reach under here and do something at some time. Probably replaced a connector. There's a Phillips here, and there'll be a Phillips here. I pulled the other one out, just seeing if this would be easier. And it is. <clears throat> Excuse my a bit of a cold going. so you can see this properly. <clears throat> okay. So you see the connector here going into the uh, control unit. Take the, there's a, a plastic bracket around it. Push. And, I don't know, do I have to take that screw out for that? I may have to. Nope. There we go. And there is the connector for it. And to put it back on, you simply slide it in. There's two pegs on the side here. I hope you can see those. Two pegs there, two pegs there. They match up with the slots here. And, oops. It's got to go in this way. Push down and pull. And it will pull the connector down in. See that? As you pull on it, there's a little, you can push on both of the one side and pull on the other. And to get it off, you know, someone has broken this sometime in the past. Push, and it will push and raise the connector out. And now we're going to deal with the wiring on the back. First thing is, I'm not going to be able to, apologize, I'm not going to be able to hold the, put the camera down anywhere solid most of the time on this. So on the back of this, on this one anyway, on the uh, CLK, there's a bracket that holds the connector to the back metal bar here. That simply slides out. And then, now I'm going to get that, uh, that T-socket and take this metal bracket off of here because it's kind of in the way for a minute. Let me get that uh, wrench and be back in a second. Okay, back up T20 to take this off. I'm going to bend this bracket back how it should be. <laughs> Someone just briefed on it, and there's just merely two torque screws holding 
this plate, this metal mounting plate to the control unit. And this one. Sorry. God damn, this bent bracket is a bitch to get around. Okay. Bracket go home. Now see me I think you can let me grab a tiny tiny who I had one two seconds ago a tiny screwdriver to pop that back cover off I don't have it with me but this will work now the back cover there is a oh, wait this one is already unfolded this back cover will it just covers over the switches and you unfold it. Someone's under here unplugging stuff at some time. Uh, I know the power seat works though. And these are just all the, this will fold over and clip up. These two little clips will push up into it. And I just have to simply unhook, obviously take, are these different? I don't know if they are individual enough that they can't be plugged into the other one. Let me just swap them around to see. Uh, oops, nope. <laughs> Apparently they can be plugged into any of them, so mark them so you know where they go. So there's those five, plus there'll be one here. And as I was saying on that cover, it should pop up and snap like that to hold all the connectors in. And that is simply it. Thank you for watching. Uh, reverse installation process. And this one's obviously on a C208, and there's the part number.